Today's recipe is extremely delicious. It is a flour-free, so gluten-free, chocolate coconut cookie. It is chewy and dense and rich, and it's filled with deliciousness. I'm chopping a half a cup of toasted almonds. They're very nicely toasted. Make sure that you keep an eye on your nuts when you're toasting them. I highly recommend setting a timer. I cannot tell you how many expensive nuts we have ruined in this kitchen by forgetting to set timers. It's a little bit of a joke, but it's not a joke because nuts are very expensive. I recommend a 375 degree oven, and I would start checking around 10 minutes. So that's a half a cup. This is one stick of unsalted butter. To that, add one and a half cups of light brown sugar. Give that a beat. While it's combining, you can whisk together your dry ingredients. This is one and two thirds cups of fine ground almond meal. And to that, you can add a third of a cup of Dutch processed cocoa powder. Whisk together with a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. If you're using fine salt, use a quarter teaspoon. To the butter and sugar mixture, you're gonna add one large egg. Beat to combine. You're probably gonna to wanna to scrape down the sides of the bowl. I mean, I know I am because I can see that it's sticking to the side of the bowl. The butter is not fully combining, so make sure you stop and scrape down the sides. You can certainly make this with a hand mixer. And because this is a flour-free recipe, you can make this for Passover, but you'll probably want to replace the butter with a non-dairy fat, such as margarine. A teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and then add your dry ingredients. Be careful, the cocoa powder gets you every time. Every time. It's like as fly away -y as confectioner's sugar, but with a lot more damage to your clothing. <laughs> Beat. Now you'll add a half a cup of chopped chocolate. This is a semi-sweet chocolate, but if you like a bittersweet, go for that, it's up to you, and your nuts. This dough is pretty soft, so you're gonna wanna refrigerate it for a little while to firm up. Have a piece of plastic wrap around. Oops, <laughs> meant to turn it off and I turned it up. Okay. Pat it into a disc. Kind of doesn't matter because these are gonna get formed into balls before you cook them, so it doesn't matter exactly how thin it is, but the thinner it is, the quicker it will chill. After your dough has chilled for at least an hour and up to a day or two, you can scoop and roll. Have your oven preheated now to 350 degrees and scoop about two tablespoons at a time. I'm just gonna scoop and then roll. You should get about 18 cookies from this recipe. You know, the dough has really firmed up a lot, which is gonna make it nicer to work with. You certainly wouldn't wanna roll that sticky dough roll into a ball, and then it gets rolled in coconut before baking. It's so oily, it's not even sticking to my hands with all the cocoa, nice. Once they're all rolled into the balls, then you can roll them in coconut, and then place them on baking sheets, flattening just a little bit before baking. I feel like about three by four, so about 12 per baking sheet, so you'll need one and a half times. I guess you could do uh, nine per baking sheet if you wanted to have it super even if it's making 18. But who's counting? All right, just get these into the oven, 350 degrees until they're still soft but cracked on top. That'll take about 16 to 18 minutes. When they come out of the oven, let them cool on the baking sheet for about five minutes and then transfer to a wire rack to cool completely. And then what you have are these chewy, dense, chocolatey, almost like a flourless brownie mixed with a macaroon. So delicious. Sorry, I got distracted because there was melted chocolate inside of this cookie. <laughs> I was about to say something really witty and amazing and then I was like, chocolate. They're dense and chewy and delicious. Mm. 
Like, I'm obsessed with these cookies. Give them a try. If you like recipes like this and you want more, make sure to click like and subscribe because we have plenty more where this came from. Mm -hmm.